Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's your favourite diaspora babe, Jane and Jane, just here living her life. Follow me on TikTok, on Instagram, on threads, maybe X, I'm not sure. For all the updates, all my latest videos, follow me on YouTube, subscribe, like and comment on my channel. Make sure you press the bell button to get all the notifications every single time I upload. In today's video, I will be going through my current beauty faves and also I had some accessories but some are in different places so I'm only going to focus on one accessory so I think that's what we're going to start with first. So currently I am absolutely loving the and other stories um, sunglasses. You've probably seen it in my vlog sometime somewhere if you follow me on Instagram follow me on Instagram you'll see it in my stories I posted a picture sometime last month of me wearing these sunglasses um, everybody went kind of crazy over them and unfortunately they are sold out but they do have them in black I I love these sunglasses like I love the thing is especially when you have a pixie cut statement pieces are the best thing to go for so right now I'm loving statement earrings big earrings I bought some new ones from H&M actually maybe that's something I'll show you in a sec um, and these sunglasses I've got another ones another one coming from Cos which was a collab with Linda Farrow absolutely love them I saw them on Uche first and then I saw them on my girl Suki Priye and I was like no I need to get these sunglasses unfortunately I dilly dallied and they went out of stock but they are back in stock so mango take forever to deliver get it together it's 2024 guys it shouldn't take a week and a bit to deliver we're all in the same uk <laughs> but i'm currently loving these shades from and other stories it's a tortoise shell it's got a tinted brown lens i can see perfectly fine through them it's not too dark it's not too light it's just it just gives the vibes it doesn't currently go with this fit i don't think um i wouldn't wear it with this fit but I just, I just love these glasses so much. So mainly we're focusing on beauty today and all the beauty accessories and products that I use that are my current faves. And I'm gonna start off with brushes. These brushes here. So let's start with Tiba. So Tiba Cosmetics is a brand by my fave girl, my big sis, Nikita Barfour. Um, she's a renowned makeup artist. She is an OG in the game. To know how to do your makeup, especially on dark skin, please follow Nikita amazing 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 she's got her own brand of brushes I think I do have another one actually yeah sorry um <laughs> I forgot the other one but I am loving absolutely loving these brushes if you watch my TikTok videos of me getting ready at any time or even in the Q&A that I done a couple months ago you would have seen me using these brushes and honestly these are one of the amazing brushes that I own and I'm not being biased because she's my big sis but they're actually very very good normally use the T4 no this is the T88 um dense found it like it's so fluffy I just I used it not too long ago so if it looks a bit musty like please um but it's so dense and it's perfect for me for foundation I absolutely like I absolutely love this brush I use this one the T44, my phone's ringing somewhere. It's a T44 brush um, to either do sometimes blush. I know it doesn't look like a blush brush, but I can do blush, I can do concealer under eye, I can do a bit of bronzing with that. Like they're so most multifunctional. I can use these two brushes, especially for anything. Um, this one, sometimes I use for blush, for bronze, to just wipe away excess powder. Sometimes I even use this to and put on my powder if I don't want to bake I just lightly dab it on absolutely absolutely love these brushes in a set I think I think I got them in a set I think I got them in a trio set I don't quote me but um yeah I actually bought these with my coins this is not sponsored this is not a collab this is this is me being honest and giving you guys my honest honest review absolutely love these brushes the next brushes are from say now I was gifted these brushes um, through Thirsty the Agency 
and they gave me a bunch of other things which I'm going to speak about. I've got a blush here that I absolutely adore but we'll get onto that afterwards. So I'm use, I use the big fluffy brush and I forgot what the name of this brush is. Again, I saw this brush on Uche and when she used to do her under eye powder, absolutely flawless. Like I actually have no faults with them. They did send me a concealer that was a bit too light, but then I thought, let me use that for under eye. So that's the only thing that, um, and I think they sent me a foundation that wasn't actually my shade. It was a bit too light, but nowadays you can make anything work, right? So, you know, but I absolutely love these brushes. Um, I can use this to bronze, um, like cream bronze or powder bronze. No, I don't use this to powder bronze. I use this to cream bronze because it's nice, it's big and round literally a big fluffy brush big and round it gets a lot of like like it just it just does the job yeah absolutely absolutely love this brush like absolutely love 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 this brush keeping it on say i love this i need to stop saying love i need to find another synonym because absolutely adore this um blush um it's a ooh, it's a cream it's a dew blush but it's a creamy it's a creamy liquid um, blush let me just swatch it for you I'm wearing it actually today I'm not a bright pink I've actually tried a bright pink um, blush before and it made me look a bit Barbie dolly and then that was cute but when I still want rosy cheeks but not too bright not too dull this say blush um, it is in the shade dreamy love it ten toes down love it down it just it's just subtle and sometimes you just don't want like i think as i'm getting older i don't want my makeup to, to look too curgy as my sister would say like curgy curgy like you know, i don't want to look too dramatic i don't want to look like i'm always performing in a show sometimes i just want subtle good looking makeup and when i'm adding blush this is my go-to blush as of recent absolutely love the say dewy blush i think this needs no introduction. This absolutely needs no introduction. This curve case by Made by Mitchell. And I'm somebody that doesn't like to, how do I put this? I'm not somebody that likes to follow trends too much or follow the hype, if that makes sense. Um, I try not to succumb to peer pressure because I think trendy thing sometimes it can it's like to me it's a sort of peer, peer pressure listen my sisters call it jane logic honestly i have a different way of thinking it's some sort of peer pressure and when i saw the curve case going viral on tiktok i was just like okay like you lot are exaggerating it is good but it's not all that this is just before i even used it imagine i thought you know what when i started seeing the dark skin girlies using it i can't lie to you i was sold it is like the pigment in this case yeah and this is the thing when it comes to makeup and i don't like talking about a lot of stuff online like race and stuff like that but things can be done for all skin tones and all skin types there is no excuse in the world why it cannot be done if made by mitchell can do this case and do it in different shades and even get a deeper shade than this deeper shade than this and i'm i'm quite dark and i know there are darker women out there darker people out there that can use um, a case and if he can do that and get it darker for them and for us there's there's literally no excuse for anybody absolutely 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 love like adore this case adore i adore it like i adore this curve case absolutely if there's if you want to start I think my next video might be a beginner friendly um you know like makeup routine but if you want to start to learn how to do makeup get the made by Mitchell curve case it has blushes and it has like contour colors it depends on how you want to use it to be honest but this this here this here he was in his bag with this one absolutely in his bag with that one talking about being in your bag this one size setting spray 
this one size setting spray. So I bought this, um, I got my cousin to get it for me from America because that's where she was living at the time. And again, TikTok, you see so many brands come up and some things you're moved by, some things you're not. But the testimonies and the reviews on this spray, amazing. So I thought the only place I can put it to the test is in a hot country. In London, we don't get hot weather at all. We had one week like two weeks ago and now it's pouring down with rain. I tried it in Ghana back in December, January because if it can survive me doing dirty December, it's a spray for me. And I can't lie, it didn't move. My makeup didn't move. If I done my makeup wrong, that was my own fault. But the makeup itself, did not shift so i had to get the small one to test it out before i committed to a larger size hopefully when i travel i think they even have it in the sephora uk in stratford westfield so i'm actually going to cave and get the bigger one because this here is absolutely amazing absolutely absolutely amazing there is another like a dupe there is a dupe um with the l'oreal infallible i do like this but I feel like it leaves a bit of a film on my face. I don't know how to explain it. It's like I've sprayed my face, it's set, and now there's like, like a light layer of cling film on my face. And it's a little bit shiny, and I don't like that. I don't get that with the one size, but I get it with the L'Oreal Infallible. But this too as well, if I do spray it, my makeup doesn't move. I just don't like the film that it leaves on my face. There's, there's these two. So there's a budget for this and there's a budget for that. If you don't want to get the Infallible, if you don't want to get the one size, sorry, try the Infallible first, see how you feel. Maybe commit to a smaller one size. If you do like the one size, commit to the larger, which I will also be doing. So next we have the NYX NYX Cosmetics brow pen. Um, it is the brow NYX Lift and Snatch brow tint pen, and this is in I think this is like black brown because that's what I use for my eyebrows in any in any um, in any brand. It's always like black brown or deep, not deep black. Yeah, like black brown or espresso. Those kind of around that range. I love it no no like i keep saying i need to find different synonyms because i can't keep, keep saying i love everything but this is why it's on my faves absolutely love this pen it's like it's so if you can see the tip yeah i'm doing such a youtube thing but if you can see the tip it's really really narrow light strokes again i'm moving away from like heavy looking thick block you know boxed makeup into like a really nice subtle beat and nowadays i don't want my eyebrows to look too defined like today it might look a bit defined but it kind of looks a little bit natural in my opinion that's just my opinion and that's because i started using thin pencil-ish pens or pencils i used to use the i think the huda beauty i used to use it yeah i think i actually have it huda beauty um bomb brows pencil in like what number is this this is seven black brown so yeah that's the shades i normally stay towards like black brown espresso and stuff like that um i used to use that before and it's an actual pencil and it's so thin absolutely like can you even see that it it's so thin and when you want light strokes and you want your eyebrows to look a little bit fuller uh but still kind of go for the sparse look thin pencils thin pens thin tips your best friends they are your best friends stop buying thick pencils and then your eyebrows are looking so full and you don't understand why and you're trying to brush it out but it's not working get thinner pencils or thinner pens and you can do like lighter strokes so i use the nyx one and again it's it does what i want it to do i don't want my eyebrows looking too boxed to like 2016 I don't want it looking 2016 anymore. Again, you have to grow. You, it can't stay in one place, my opinion. Like you need to elevate. <laughs> you, your makeup needs to grow with you. You also need to grow with the times in the space that you're in in life. Like everything from your fashion sense to your, you know, your mindset and everything, all that stuff. I'm not even gonna get so deep, but yeah. So this pen here, I love it. I love it so much. 
um, sometimes I can be a bit heavy handed and it can get too wet at the tip and then if you again if you see my TikTok videos you would see like it will leave like a lot of ink annoying but I can semi work it out but if you're not heavy handed and you want light strokes use the NYX brow pen lastly on my list we're just going to do um, lip products so firstly this topical seal now I love topicals faded that cream and I don't care about the smell let the thing do its job some people are too worried about things that don't matter the scent of the product is not what you should be concerned about is if the product is doing its job and the faded does its job but that's not what we're talking about today the topical seal I promise you I can put this on my lips before I go to bed and it's still on my lips when I wake up huh? it's still on my lips when I wake up and I'm a I am a am I a light sleeper I'm not a deep sleeper I, I'm a mid sleeper let's say I'm a mid sleeper and I tend to sleep on my back and my sides a lot I don't sleep on my front but my lips are still when I wake up it might not be fully glossed but it's still there when I wake up. And I know people kept saying, oh, it's a bit too sticky. I don't, I don't have, I think every product has its thing. Like if I want a lip balm, I don't expect it to be sticky. But this is like, okay, well, this is a mint, oh, it says a mint lip balm. <laughs> it actually says it's a mint lip balm. But to me, it's more of like, it's a cross between like, a balmy gel it's like a gel to me a lip gel and i love lip gels i love lip oils lip gels so even though it says balm and i think that's maybe where the discourse came from because it says balm and it's a bit sticky but again my lips are so soft when i use this product i recently got it um when i went in may and they had a wellness event and i was invited and i was in one of our goodie bags and literally there's not much left so I have to cave and get a new one, which is fine because I actually do like this product. And speaking of lip oils, the Clarins one. And the thing is, yeah, I have, this is, this is strawberry and I have honey. I don't know where my honey one is. I, I don't know. It's somewhere in the house. But this lip oil, and I love the little tint that it gives. When you're having a no makeup day like legit no makeup day and you put this on your lips it looks kissable man i, I don't care what no one says i really like lip oils lip gels like i said the dior lip oil love that as well um i normally use like a lip gel from the hair shop as well love that i my lips can never be dry like if somebody mentions lips i start licking them like my lips cannot be dry and lastly on lips I don't think I've used any other lip gloss since I got these last February I made my first purchase in February 2023 and I have not bought another lip gloss since then I have my browns that I use around my lips because um, I like that I like that look is it an ombre look I don't know what you want to call it but I like using my lip brown lip liner and then using my lip glosses and then using a brown lip gloss as like another liner and then my whole lips is just gloss. I, again, my lips can't be dry. Even matte lips, I feel uncomfortable doing a matte lip now. It's so crazy. Lip Bay London, Swiss Chocolate. So the only three shades I have is Swiss Chocolate, Honey Rain and Love Child. And my favourite two are Swiss Chocolate and Love Child. If I want more of a pinky nude, love child if i want more of a brownie nude swiss chocolate these these listen i can't lie to you and the thing is the, the thing is whether i know the owners or not i would be very honest like i don't have to include it nobody's paying paying me for this i actually these are my actual opinions and i use these products like if you watch my videos on um tiktok especially i've got a lot of get ready with me's i'm always using these glosses always using these glosses lip bay london so pigmented so and there's no horrible scent um glides on perfectly it lasts forever again i've been using i think i got another swiss chocolate but apart from that 
that like, I run through, I don't run through these that's a lie but I think because I layer them so that maybe that's why I don't run through these absolutely and I'll keep buying them every single time they're done or close to finishing I think I bought a new one when I was going to Ghana just in case maybe I lost it because one thing I hate doing is losing stuff when I'm away because who's gonna bring it to me nobody and I can't try shipping so maybe that's why I have two it's not because it finished I think that's why I've got two but um yeah that yeah amazing 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 and lastly this even recently came in the post and some people may not know but I used to sell lashes a long time ago and I love I, I love lashes the only thing I don't like is it's not that I don't like the only thing that I don't tend to do often is strip no is individual lashes because when I wash off my makeup I've got dark under eyes naturally and as my mum would say it looks like somebody's punched me in my face because my eye my eyelashes are thick black got dark circles it looks like a whole mess <laughs> so that's the only reason why I don't really do individual lashes but I do like doing them especially when I'm going away but when I'm not going away strip lashes these off of AliExpress um shout out to my friend Sharon who put me on got these from AliExpress and I absolutely I'm even wearing a pair now and I absolutely love them I love wispy I'm not a cat eye honestly I'm a I'm a I, I like I'm a full lash babe I'm not a simple cat eye babe or barely there or sparsy or seek like please I'm not a classic set baby no 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 whisk me up with me i barely have lashes i'm not now come to wear a lash that looks like i'm not wearing anything no 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 there's days that i don't wear lashes and then i'll just wear mascara it's either or to me there's no in between i need you need to see these you need to see them when them when i've got a full beat on you need to see my eyelashes absolutely love these currently um i'm literally i think this is the third time i'm wearing them love them down no it can't be the third time this is the second time i'm wearing them sorry love them so Thank you so much guys for staying to the end. If you have any current faves, let me know what they are. Is there anything you want me to try? Let me know in the comments. Are any of these products your faves? Or has any of these products piqued your interest? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I think this is like the first kind of video that I'm doing where I'm actually talking to you guys. So I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> little bit shy, little bit nervous, but what can you do? we're here now but thank you so so much for watching again comment like and subscribe join the sisterhood let's do this together make sure you follow me on instagram make sure you follow me on tiktok especially because i'm more active on tiktok than anywhere else at the moment but yeah thank you so much guys absolutely love you guys bye <laughs> Just my tiny